Welcome to Eurofins Viracore Clinical Diagnostics Podcast, where I'll be sharing up-to-date scientific advances, key diagnostic testing, and our most recent innovations. Today is April 7th, 2021. In this episode, we're going to discuss CMV cell-mediated immunity in the recently released white paper evaluating various methodologies, including Viracore's CMVT cell immunity panel. Over the past two decades, cellular immune response to cytomegalovirus, CMV, and other viral pathogens has been an interesting area of research and has now evolved into a clinical application of assays that provide a precise measure of cellular response. Current antiviral preventative strategies have shown improved efficacy, but CMV continues to be one of the more common clinically significant infections. Following primary infection, CMV establishes a lifelong latent infection which may reactivate in both immunocompetent and immunocompromised individuals. Clinically significant CMV infection frequently develops in immunocompromised patient populations, such as hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, solid organ transplant, and HIV. As a frequent complication after transplantation, CMV infection may cause a series of direct and indirect effects that lead to increased incidence of graft rejection, opportunistic infections, and decreased allograft in patient survival. CMV reactivations have also been reported to occur frequently in critically ill, immunocompetent patients and are associated with prolonged hospitalization or death. T-cell responses, both CD4 plus and CD8 plus T-cells, are vital components of CMV immune control. The monitoring of CMV-specific T-cell responses utilizing intracellular cytokine staining may aid in the detection of patients at increased risk of CMV disease after transplantation and may be useful in guiding prophylaxis and preemptive therapies. Several assays have been introduced to assist in measuring CMV cell-mediated immunity, CMV-CMI. Testing for CMV-CMI is currently limited, and each assay has unique performance and reporting characteristics. Current available testing methods for CMV-CMI include ELISA, ELISPOT, and intracellular cytokine staining, ICS, by flow cytometry. There have been numerous studies to evaluate which assay can provide the desired performance to assess CMV-specific immunity. Prior to this, the best diagnostic available for solid organ transplant in HSCT has been CMV IgG or IgM serology and monitoring with CMV qPCR. In the recently published white paper on the Evaluating Cytomegalovirus CMV Cell-Mediated Immunity Diagnostic Assays, Dr. Kleibacher reviews the various CMV CMI methodologies for performance and also discusses the potential clinical application of these tests measuring CMV CMI. The white paper concludes, the need for this type of testing adds to the movement toward personalized medicine, especially within the immunosuppressed populations of SOT and HSCT, as the number of studies continue to show positive results for the assessment of individualized immune response to CMV, other viral pathogens are likely to follow. To read the entire white paper by Dr. Kleibacher and for more information about CMV testing, visit the links within this podcast summary. Here at Eurofins Viracore, we offer CMV CMI testing through our CMV T cell immunity panel, which measures the strength of T cell responses to cytomegalovirus specific antigens. The test evaluates and reports the activity of CD4 and CD8 T cell responses independently. Effective T-cell immunity against CMV is a factor in controlling CMV viral latency. CMV can affect patients with weakened immune systems and is a common risk factor in patients following solid organ or hematopoietic stem cell transplant. Special instructions are as follows. Cell function testing requires special attention to specimen collection and shipping in order to ensure the integrity of the sample. Collect 10 milliliters whole blood in sodium heparin tube. Tube must be at least three quarters full to maintain proper ratio of blood to anticoagulant. Blood must be drawn Monday through Friday after 7 a.m. Central Standard Time to ensure specimen integrity. Samples can be shipped same day as collection at ambient temperature Monday through Friday. Laboratory turnaround time for this test is three to four business days from the receipt of specimen. Earlier this year, we attended TCT the annual transplant and cellular therapy meetings of ASBMT and CIBMTR. Doctors from UT Southwestern Medical Center, MD Anderson Cancer Center, and our own scientific team presented our product theater titled Post-Transplant Prevention and Management of Cytomegalovirus, 
Hear from these doctors utilizing our key CMV diagnostics to manage their post-transplant patients. Follow the links within this summary to view the valuable content. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast and follow us on social media to stay up to date on all the latest information. If you want to help spread the word, please give us a five-star review and tell your friends and colleagues to subscribe too. We're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, Podbean, and more. With over 30 years of specialized expertise in infectious disease, immunology, and allergy testing for immunocompromised and critical patients, Eurofins Viracor is committed to helping medical professionals, transplant teams, and reference labs get results faster when it matters most. Viracor is passionate about delivering value to our clients by providing timely, actionable information, never losing sight of the connection between the testing we perform and the patients you serve.